the best will prevail here. We're going to revisit the penalty that allowed the Lions to maintain possession momentarily, but let's set up first and ten at the Saskatchewan 54. More pressure, ball delivered, and G. Roy Simon, who's had a quiet night, has the catch and another penalty marker on the play, and G. Roy grabs his right knee. Oh, boy. He has been quiet tonight. Just his third catch. Major foul, roughing the passer, Saskatchewan number 48. 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the play. First down. Ray Williams, who didn't bring down Pierce on the touchdown run, wanted an extra shot that time. The entire West Coast concerned right now because the penalty gives the Lions even better yardage on this play, but more importantly, there's there's a late hit on Buck Pierce by Ray Williams. But most importantly for BC fans, what happens to G. Roy Simon? Because he's not getting up. Cornegay, see how he rolls under his knee, and, and it looked like his foot got caught. And Cornegay put his body weight on the right knee, G. Roy Simon. So Smart down in this game. Now Simon down. Belton Johnson is left. Emmanuel Arsenault also injured. So three key components of the BC Lions offense. Well, and this is this is the biggest one, though, Chris. I mean, you got career 11,000 plus yards from Giro Simon. Good news for Lions fans that he can get up and put a little pressure on that knee. Five-time All-Canadian. Lions all-time leader. Six straight 1,000-yard seasons. And was kind of waiting for the Lions to start leaning on him a bit in the second half. Instead, they go double tights as Simon leads the game. First and ten, Mallet with the burst. Blocked out at the 33. Ryder fans probably still wondering why the Lions even have the ball in this possession because it looked like it was fumbled on the punt return, but this is being a little bit blurry here unless you have high definition, in which case you'll see it perfectly. And the, the problem was that Aaron Wagner's penalty happened before the Lions' Darren Tony lost possession. So there it is there. We moved it around. You can see the face mask there. That happened before the fumble occurred. Therefore, Lions maintained possession. Second and six. Pierce over the middle, and that ball incomplete. Intended for the fullback, Roli Lambala. So third down, and Paul McCallum in the field goal unit likely to come on. Buck Pierce is upset with himself there because Lombardo was just a little crossing road. Had he got him the football earlier, he had the first down. And that's, that's exactly what Wally Buono is telling his quarterback. Make that read a little bit quicker, a little bit behind the throw. Punt team on. Wow. A little surprised at this. It is into a little bit of win, but it's not much. Well, that's not a Saskatchewan win. No, no, well, nowhere near when you talk at Saskatchewan. So no 40-yard attempt. They'll go coffin corner. And does he get it? Uh, no. No, he doesn't. So it's one point and a four-point lead. And a little bit of a surprise on that decision. Wendy's CFL on TSN Friday Night Football is brought to you in part by Wendy's Baconator, the official hamburger of the CFL. It's way delicious. It's Wendy's. And by Rona, proud sponsor of the CFL. Rona, doing it right since 1939. Lions actually lose two yards on the exchange. Very direct, buried for a sack. And 
Jeremy Gibbs and Ricky Foley get to the quarterback here. Foley, even last year with Cameron Wake lighting up the league, was impatient. He wasn't getting his chance to play defensive end and helps get the quarterback. Saskatchewan staying with the passing game, even though they've had injuries up front. They have some youngsters on the O-line. You can tell it's, it's tough for Darren Durant. It's a loss of six and second and 16. And Durant dumps it off. Separator from Javi Glatt on Hugh Charles. And Mr. Glatt set himself a second half. This time, the, the Lions show blitz. Javi Glatt is behind the goal, goal post to start out in disguise. Then he drops out. That's exactly how he got his interception earlier in the game. This time, he times it up, and that's a pretty good hit. Fifth possession, second half, Saskatchewan. Ouch. It's great to have football back, isn't it? Maybe not for Hugh Charles right at that minute, but... <laughs> Three punts, two interceptions for the Rough Riders here in the second half. Hugh Charles has made his plays tonight, too. Still digesting the Buono decision. Yes, yes, interesting. A running start at it by Borum. And it'll be Dante Marsh. across the 35-yard line as the uh, hitting gets a little more intense. Roger Jays baseball continues Tuesday on TSN as the Jays travel to Tampa Bay to take on the division rival Rays. Live coverage 7 Eastern for Pacific. Baseball would be better if there was more hitting. I mean, like physical. Well, you're not talking about bats and balls. No, I'm not. 